Hey, my comic book heads. Now, you probably wonder, like, why am I wearing this outfit? We'll get to that later on. You know, I'll tell you more about, about this later. But what we're going to talk about first is I'm going to show you all the books I got to uh, got on first, you know, for uh, New Comic Book Day. Okay? So it's my it's very it's very small, um, a very small uh, haul today. See, it's not really, it's not really that big, you know. So I'm gonna show you what I got. So the first book I'm gonna show you is the Incredible Hulk from Marvel issue number three. Uh, I read the first issue. I haven't read the second issue yet, but I have read the first issue, and it's phenomenal. Um, uh, Philip Kennedy Johnson is doing an amazing job on this book, um, and I really enjoy enjoy the first issue, and I can't wait to jump into issue two and now issue three. Next one we have is Blade. This one Marvel as well. Blade issue number two. Issue one, I had no problems with it. Um, I'm very interested in where the story goes. Um, the artwork in this is. It's pretty decent. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. It is pretty de pretty decent. It almost reminds me. I'm not sure if it, if it's the same artist, but it's similar to the Black Panther book. And I like that artwork in there as well. So that was Blade issue number two from Marvel. We have another Marvel book, um, Ultimate Invasion issue number three. And I really, really uh, issue one. The end of issue one shocked me. Um, there's some of the artwork in here. Issue one did did kind of did kind of shock me, um, and and uh, I can't wait to dive into issue issue three and issue two. I haven't read issue two yet, so I'm gonna read, I have to read both of them. So I can't wait to dive into both of those. Um, the next book we have is. Uh, as a DC book, Night Terrors, Nice End. I think this is the end of the of the Night Terrors event. I, and you know, like I said, I'm like I want to tell you guys, I'm an events kind of person, so I have no problem with events. I enjoy reading them, um, so I can't wait to uh, dive into more more into this um, and see how it comes about, how how it ends. Like I said, it, it's, the artwork is is great in this. And I can't wait to um, uh, figure out what happens at the end of this event. Speaking of events, we got another event. As soon as that one ended, another one starts. It's from DC. It's Batman, Catwoman, the Gotham War Battle Lines. So this is just a one shot. So basically, um, this event is going to cross over from the Batman books and the Catwoman books. And basically what I was told was uh, after Batman was asleep um, because of the Night Terror event. He was asleep for like eight weeks. And what happened was Catwoman took over Gotham and made it safe. Safer than Batman has made it. So we're gonna see. We're gonna see how it goes. Like I said. Um our rumors that if this this is gonna divide um the house of Batman. Like you might see some of his some of his um people will go to Catwoman's side is someone will take Batman's side. So it's very interesting. Um, I can't wait to sit down and read that one. Now, this is one book. This next one I'm gonna show y'all. This is the only book I just host I just I read immediately. Because I wanna see where they're gonna uh, take this character. Um, after the events of Amazing Spider-Man number 26, I have here uh, Marvel's uh, Miss Marvel, the new mutant issue number one. I read this and I am going to get issue number two. Um, the artwork is great in this. I have no problems with the artwork whatsoever. Uh, the story is awesome. It's basically Kamala Khan going to school. The thing is, she's going to a university and the university is basically in control of Orcus, who's basically like the ultimate villain towards the X-Men. And basically she's going there to um, I won't say infiltrate, but just get try to get some information on them. And she's, you know, she's very reluctant to tell people that she's now a mutant. But in this book, something happens. I'm not gonna spoil it. 
Um, but it, it is a good read and it is warranted uh, issue number two. That's the only book I read in this whole stack. And I just I just wanted to see where it goes. And I'm happy. You know, I have no problems with it. So I can't wait to sit down and have, uh, read this again. Read issue number two when it comes out. Uh, the next title is World Tree issue number five from Image. The image is yes, Image. From Image. Uh, at the beginning, I told myself I would never get this book. Uh, I said, nah, I'm, I'm not, I'm not feeling, I'm not gonna feel this book at all. But ever since I read issue one, two, and three, I haven't read issue four yet. I'm hooked. Uh, I'm going to continue to read this book. Um, this book is very well written. Um, uh, Tinian it does a great job. I gotta make sure that this. Let me see. Cause I, I want to show y'all this book, but I gotta make sure I don't get in trouble showing y'all this book. Cause this book is very dangerous. Okay, I'll show. It. Okay, I can show this part. This part is safe. <laughs> cause there's some parts in here like I'm flipping through. I'm like I can't show that. Definitely can't show that. Oh, no. Okay, yeah, we can't. We want to sit that one down. You can't. I can't show you that one. Um, <laughs> so that was World Tree issue number five. The next title is, uh, as a Marvel book, is Wolverine issue number 36. Now, this is another a mini event. It's between Wolverine and Ghost Rider. Um, they're both written by the same person, which is um, Benjamin Percy. Is it Percy? I want to say yes, it's Percy. It, yeah, it is. Um, so, it, some, uh, something's going on that, that causes Wolverine and Ghost Rider to team up to solve this mystery. So I can't wait to sit down and read this. I have the alpha for this. I haven't read it yet, but I have the alpha for this and I'm definitely gonna read both of them so I can see how I'm gonna like this book. The last book I have is one of my favorites. Um, I read issue one. I'm so glad I got issue two. I actually added this to my pool. Um, I followed uh, G. Willow Wilson. She's the writer of this and Chris Wild Goose, he is the artist on this. Um, this is a IDW original, and it's called The Hunger and the Dusk. Um, I read the first issue, and it was phenomenal. I like fantasy stories, and this is this book was right up my alley. Um, I know there's other fantasy stories uh, that I could have re read, but here's some of the artwork. It's so colorful. All the colors pop in this, and I really like it. Um, and and I cannot wait to see what's going on in this. As I'm trying to talk to you, I'm almost started reading it. <laughs> but um, I got to the point I follow uh, G. Uh, Willow Wilson on Twitter and told her how much I love her book and I mean every bit of it. Um, so I'm so glad I I'm so glad I picked that up. Um, that was Hunger in the Dusk from IDW. Now, like I said before, I want to thank all my uh, people that like my videos, comment on my videos, and that subscribe to me, I really, really do appreciate you guys. Um, so in the description below, uh, I put down the CBC uh, Awards. If you want to vote, the voting now is open for the CBC Awards. Um, if you want, if you like, I will put the link down below in the description. You can vote for your comic YouTuber. And once again, if it's me, awesome. I, I appreciate your vote. I really do. If it's not me, I'm okay with that because at least if you go in there and you see somebody you, you don't normally watch and you start watching some of their videos because uh, um, Brian LCS who is the main guy for the CBC Awards he will put in there he, he put links in there so you can watch these shows so if you pick somebody else that you feel that has a better show I'm okay I'm okay with that um, I just want you to to do to vote and get the name of the CBC Awards out there for we can have more people uh, that, that people can nominate uh, and more people that can be voted upon. So uh, I'm gonna put the link down below. Also in the link down below, I'm gonna put in uh, my uh, LCS, which is Magic uh, Games, and, uh, Games and Comics. That's where I got these books from. Um, I put their, not only their website link, the link to their website, I'm also putting down their YouTube channel. Um, and so we're gonna open this book. You probably wonder like why he wearing, you know, his Detroit Lions. Yes, this is a Matthew Stafford jersey. I'm still a Matthew Stafford fan. 
yes, I rooted for him when he won the Super Bowl with the LA Rams. Because dang it, if he if we can't win as a team, at least somebody, our old quarterback, can win it. So I'm happy for him. So I'm gonna continue to wear this Stafford jersey. Now the reason why I'm wearing a jersey and my, my Lions, my Lions hat, I got an unboxing. Some of y'all in the comic book world know where I'm going with this. Like, what is this? What are you unboxing? Don't see this one. What's in the What's in the box? What's in the box? I should have pre-opened this one, but eh, there's only one 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 item here. It's not really. I'm gonna um, be too hung up on. Nothing was damaged? Okay, nothing was damaged. So you probably wonder, what's, what's in a box? Of course, football season is this coming up Sun, This coming up Thursday. With my, it starts off with my Detroit Lions going against the Kansas City Chiefs. I'm not gonna say who's gonna win, but you know who I'm gonna move for. What I have here, is Super Pro issue number one? You got guest star uh, Spider Man right here in the corner. They find some bad guys. I think any if you're a sports fan and a comic book lover, you got to have this book in the collection. I did not, so I said, Let me rectify this error. I went out and got Super Pro. So, yes, let's say it once again. I'm gonna be rooting for my Detroit Lions. To win next Thursday, all eyes are gonna be on us and see if we improve. We got to, <laughs> we really got to. But um, thank you, thank you everybody for watching. I really do appreciate you guys. Um, also, being that it is September, next month is gonna be Halloween, October, and Halloween is gonna be around the corner. If you like horror movies, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a link down below is a Spotify called Horror Movie Warriors. It's my fiance's um, horror podcast. She talks about horror movies. Uh, she has guests on there. She ever have a great time on that show. So make sure I put her um, her link down below as well. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. Enjoy your holiday weekend. If you're not a Lions fan, become a Lions fan and root for the Lions this Thursday. And I appreciate everything y'all uh, done for me in this community. And y'all enjoy your holiday weekend. Thank you.